Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more CNSL 5. Uh, we are in Group B of the round of 16, and this is an exciting group. If you haven't checked out the first game uh, between Fengji and Yoon, go do that now. Okay, now that we've waited for those people to leave, of course, Fengji, with that upset over Yoon, goes on to the winner's match. And now we have Scan going up against Ziggy. Uh, Ziggy, of course, the Polish Terran. He's very strong in both StarCraft 2 and StarCraft 1. Uh, and Scan, I mean, you guys know Scan. You love Scan. He is one of the best Terrans in the world. Uh, the, the highest level fluent English player in the world as well. Uh, doing fantastically lately. Uh, you know, unfortunately not making it into ASL in this most recent season, but like his skill is there. Now, this matchup, we're on Vermeer, right? A four-player map. I gotta I gotta mention a few things. First off, uh, you're not gonna beat Scan in a straight up TVT as Ziggy. Let's just be very, very clear about that. Like Scan was one of uh Royal's practice partners for the ASL finals, where Royal absolutely demolished Rush. And uh, you know, that's that speaks just loads of scan skill in Terran vs. Terran. Now, that's fine. That's fine for Ziggy, because honestly, Ziggy is very aggressive. He's pretty cheesy in TVT, I got to tell you. Uh, he has some very interesting builds that can give him an edge, but he does sometimes have a hard time following through with advantages that he creates for himself with those builds. So we're going to see what he opens with. And if he does get that advantage, can he do something with it? Now, both sides just getting their gases and barracks. It looks like probably factory expands, although on Ziggy's side, you're never entirely sure. Like, it could be a, a factory expand into something aggressive, uh, it, or it could just be one base something aggressive. And of course, I mean, he might just go ahead and do a regular build, like, a, uh, you know, an expansion into factory starport or an expansion into uh, three factory vulture. It's not to say he can't do those or he never does those, but just... Generally speaking, he uses very unorthodox strategies. So that is what we're kind of watching out for right now. Now the factory about ready to go up here for scan. There it is. And on Ziggy's side, there it is. And look, he's still got three in gas. So absolutely 100%. This is going to be a one base all in coming out of Ziggy. Uh, he is banking up a ton of gas right now. So this could end up being factory starport it could end up being two factory it could end up being two starport we do not know what that's going to be uh and uh, the thing is with terran versus terran there is such a wide range of all-ins that can be done and it's a little bit rock paper scissory on how to counter them okay so like for instance uh if you go tank wraith as scan like if you go expansion he'll go expansion believe me uh, but if you go expansion and then you go tank wraith and your opponent went tank wraith, you're going to lose because they're going to have cloak way ahead of you and they're going to be up a wraith, right? Uh, but you will dominate a two factory like siege tank push, let's say. And then, you know, it, it, it's things like that. So let's see what he's going for. Okay, it is factory starport. So two marines out in the front. Now, one thing that Ziggy has to be careful about is if Scan sends his first Vulture across the map. Okay, so the first Vulture is going. Scan already knows something is likely up. He is going for the add-on. He is mining full gas. So this is kind of preparation for anti-cheese, I think. Oh, he throws down a second factory. You know what? He doesn't have as much intel as I was kind of thinking of there because this is not an anti-cheese build. This is, this is fascinating. Let's see. Siege mode on the way. These two Marines out here to catch the barracks. And this is some brave stuff, I got to say, because the Vulture never came over. If the Vulture came over and picked off these two Marines, that would be very, very bad news for Ziggy. But Ziggy right now, he's going to pop this first tank out. Second tank on the way. He has a Wraith coming up as well. Mine upgrade. This is exactly what you want to do as scan here. He's getting those very fast mines. The barracks confirms no command center. It confirms here's the siege tank. But if he can get some mines out and lay mines in this path, he's going to be pretty safe. Uh, at the same time, we have the armory coming up right now for scan. So he's going to be able to get those glides out. We'll see if Ziggy goes into cloak or not. Right now, he does go for the second Wraith, which is completely a fine play. Oh, man, he's going to pick off the Marines. Oh, man. Very good plays there from Scan. 
His mine upgrade is almost done. If he can stop reinforcing tanks, the push is almost over. Like, the game is almost done. I'm not kidding. It is such a big deal. If you can lay those mines... Ooh, that's a big pickoff from Ziggy. Okay, so now he's going to have three mines. He's going to lay them on the high ground. A little bit predictable. Like, you know that this is happening. Let's see if Ziggy goes up. Oh, God. Runs right into that first mine. Runs right into the second mine. This is not good news. There's two mines here blocking his tank from moving forward. He does have the Wraith. He does have the Wraith. So let's... Let's, I guess, see what the Wraith can do here. I don't think too much, unfortunately. Looks like we're going to have a bit of a dive right on top of the Sea Chank. This Sea Chank is going to be killed off. Scan has an expansion. He's up six workers. He's got two production facilities. And here we don't have Cloak or anything. It's unfortunate for Ziggy, but honestly, this game is not really recoverable. Um... Yeah, I would say that if you gave Ziggy's controls to Flash, Scan would pummel him from here. So, uh, you know, that's the thing. You you take some risks, and Scan actually countered it really well. Like, he got the very quick mine upgrade, was able to lay those mines down. The, the second siege tank getting caught, that was kind of the big, big moment there. If you're doing one of these siege tank, marine, wraith kind of all-ins, you're really hoping to get over here with two, three tanks, you know, I've seen it uh, more oftentimes with more Marines, like four or five Marines. Ziggy, in this particular instance, uh, chose to go a little bit Marine light with two uh, and instead focused more heavily on building these wraiths out. Now, let's see. Oh, he's moving out with the tanks. Worst case scenario. I think we're literally going to see GG in a second here. Uh, so he's going to end up losing all of his siege tanks and he's going to end up losing his wraiths. And there's really nothing left after that. Oof. Uh, Cloak is on the way. So, ooh, the SCVs have to come down to fight here as well. It's getting worse and worse and worse, unfortunately. Um, well, the SCV is actually getting a sick drill here. <laughs> the, like the uh, AI of the Goliaths are going insane. Like they're being shuffled so, so much. And he is killing off one. Uh, he, he, oh, man, it's... It's tough with two more Goliaths coming in as well. That's going to be it, which means that Ziggy goes to that loser match against Yoon. That's going to be a tough one. Whereas Scan goes up to the uh, winner's match and he's going to be playing against Fengji. Uh, we'll see. Actually, here's a, a little preview of that next match. Scan and Fengji are actually a little bit of friends. He's he's taught Fengji some things and talks with him from time to time. So uh, he should know a good amount about his style. Okay, that is it. GG. Scan advances to the winner match.